Pilates. I'm a certified sport Pilates and rehab Pilates instructor as well as a physiotherapist. Most of us are quite prone to having tight shoulders, especially after a long day in front of the laptop. Today's exercise theme is about keeping those heavily burdened shoulders tight free with the help of Pilates. At the end of the session, you will be able to reduce the tightness over the shoulder and neck, realign your posture, and that will inadvertently reduce the pain and discomfort. Hi, the first exercise that you're gonna do today is arm circles. So this exercise is gonna help you to mobilize your shoulder joints, which are tight due to prolonged uh, uh, desk job, all right? So we're gonna, uh, start with the exercise now you're gonna lie down face up here so you can use uh you may need to prop up yourself with a head prop so that you don't feel any tension over your shoulders and your neck so you can always use books and towels for you to like keep it in a relaxed position all right so you're gonna lie down face up now all right keeping your pelvis and spine in neutral right Keep your feet, uh, your legs open hip distance apart and feet down on the mat. Alright? And you're going to keep your shoulder blades in a stabilized position as you keep your collarbone broader. And arms by the side, keep your palm facing in. Maintain your pelvis and spine in neutral alignment throughout this exercise. Okay? So you're going to inhale, reach your arms towards the sky and drop it over your head as you keep your ribcage in and down. Now as you exhale, you're going to circle your arm to the side and you're going to return. Inhale, reach it up and over your hip. Exhale, circle your arm by the side and you're going to return towards your hip. So always keep your ribcage heavier on the mat whenever you are reaching your arm over your hip. And then you're going to circle as you exhale. Think about the lengthening sensation throughout this movement. Good. And exhale to circle. So you're going to continue to do this exercise for another four more repetitions. Then after that, you're going to continue with reverse arm circle, which is inhale to reach your arm over your head here exhale to return by the side of your body go for two inhale reach your arm over your head here exhale to return back by the side of your body think about the engagement over your abs feel for the work over your shoulder blades here feel like your shoulder blades are moving away from each other from your spine when you are opening up your arm good and when you lower down feel like your repeat is getting lower lower and lower and closer towards your spine all right so continue to do for another four more repetitions here you can do this exercise for three to five sets for you to feel that your shoulder is more of like open up and stretched okay. the second exercise that you're going to do is spinal rotation so this exercise is going to work on opening up of your upper body all right so you're going to lie down on your side now so when you're lying down on your side you need to prop up your head a little bit more higher so that your head doesn't drop down all right so when you're lying down on your side you need to make sure that your top shoulder and your hip is staying in line okay and make sure that your hip and your knee is maintaining a 90 degree of bending all right and uh top and bottom shoulder should be in line your rib cage should be stabilized and your abs must be engaged all the time and keeping your pelvis even from the bottom to top all right now from here keep your gaze to the front and palm facing each other you're gonna inhale your gaze gonna follow your fingertips all the way up and exhale you're gonna drop your arm to the back as you open up your chest inhale to stay here and exhale inhale and as you exhale you're gonna lengthen back up all the way down to your starting position all right keep your chest open all the time you're going to inhale to reach your arm up, exhale, drop your arms to the back and think about the lengthening sensation over your arm. Feel like you're opening up your chest towards the sky. Breathe in here and you breathe out. Inhale again and as you exhale, you're going to lengthen out all the way up. Reach, reach, reach. Think about the reaching sensation and you're going to return. Good. So you're going to continue, continue to do for another formal repetition on this side and then you're going to switch. Okay? Are you guys doing good? Alright, so now I'm going to switch side. So you're going to lie down on the other side now, making sure that your top shoulder and your hip is staying in line. Your hip and your knee is bent 90 degree and your 
Uh, Rukic is stabilized here, your top and bottom shoulder stabilized and your pelvis is uh, in line from bottom to top. Alright, now you're going to keep your palm facing each other and gaze forward, keep the stability of your shoulder blades. You're going to inhale to reach your arm up here, exhale to drop it to the back. Good, inhale to stay there. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale, you're going to lengthen up all the way and you're going to return. Good job, keep going. Inhale, reach your arm up here. Exhale, open up your ribcage down. Feel like you're opening up your ribcage towards the sky. Reach your fingertips away from you all the time. Inhale and exhale. Inhale again. And you exhale, you're going to return. So you need to avoid dropping your pelvis to the back when you reach your arm to the back. So only your upper body is doing the movement. Okay? All right? Hope you guys are doing good now. Third exercise that you're going to do is breaststroke. So this exercise is going to work on your back muscles together with your glutes and also your shoulder mobility. Okay, so uh, when you're doing this exercise, you really need to uh, imagine that you are diving into a pool and then you're coming back up towards the water surface. Okay, alright. So let's get into the starting position now. You're going to lie down, face down, keeping your... Uh, pelvis and spine in neutral position here, okay, point your toes away from you, keep your feet parallel and open up hip distance apart, okay, all right, keep engaging your bum here, squeeze your bum, stabilize your shoulder blades and you're going to move your head back and you're going to think about keeping your nose two inches away from the mat. Inhale to stay here and as you exhale, you're going to hover your spine, Reach your arm to the front. As you inhale, circle your arm to the side. And then you're going to go in again. And inhale to come back. Exhale. Inhale, rise up. So you're going to lift your body up, up until your last rib is staying in contact with the mat. Think about reaching away sensation. Keep engaging your bum and your abs. And you end the exercise by resting your arm down. Alright, you're going to continue to do for another four more repetitions. Alright, okay. once you're done, you're going to push yourself up here. And you're going to sit on your heel and you're going to get into your side stretch position. So it's a recovery position. Inhale here and exhale. Slowly step up your spine from your tail to your crown and come back up. Alright, so you can do this exercise uh, for three to five sets of eight repetitions for you to really feel all your abs, your glutes, your back muscle and also your arms. The next exercise that you're going to do is obliques roll back. So this exercise is going to challenge your abdominal and as well as it's going to work on your shoulder mobility. All right. So you're going to sit facing the other side of the room here. Try to sit as upright as possible to keep your pelvis as pelvis and spine in vertical alignment here. Okay, alright. Now you're going to reach your arms to the front, stabilize your shoulder blades. You're not sinking down. Sit upright, stabilize, keep squeezing your shoulder blades. You're going to inhale here. As you exhale, you're going to roll your spine to the back and you're going to rotate and reach away. Alright, reach your arms away from you. Breathe in to come back up here. Breathe up, roll to the back. Think about reaching both of your fingertips away from you, your right and your left arm. Good, and then you're going to come back up as you inhale, and go one more, exhale to roll and reach. Keep your gaze forward all the time, alright? Now from there, you're going to inhale to come back up, continue to do for another five more, and I'm going to switch sides, okay? Breathe in here, and go breathe up, rotate and reach away. Inhale to come back up, exhale, roll to the back and reach. And then you're going to come back up and go one more. Take your abs more and you're going to come back up. Right, straight. Continue to do for another five more. All right. So this exercise, you can do three to five sets. If you want to challenge more, you can hold the position for 10 seconds. All right. Are you guys good? Let's do the last exercise for today, which is single leg stretch together with reverse plank position. All right. So this exercise is going to challenge your abdominal region, your abs, 
your legs and also your arms all right but we really need to focus on the uh, stability of your upper body when you're doing this exercise all right okay let's get into the standing position now so you're gonna rest, you're gonna uh, rest your L forearm down on the mat here okay thinking about keeping your uh, stability over your shoulder blades you're not sinking down you're pushing yourself up and squeezing your shoulder blades and you're not sinking your head in you're gonna think about opening up more all right Get a breathe in here and breathe out. Get into your imprint here and bring your legs up to tabletop. All right. Think about the engagement of your abs here. Get a breathe in to prepare. Breathe out. Reach. Inhale to switch. Exhale to reach the other leg away. And go up. And out. Up. And reach away. Think about pointing your way more. And return and down. So you can do this for another five more repetitions over both sides. Then you can continue to do with uh, three to five sets. If you want to challenge more, you can hold the position when your toes are reaching away from you. Hope that you guys had a great session. All right. And uh, try to do these exercises in regular basis for you to feel the difference on your shoulder tightness. All right. See you guys and bye.